Hello everyone, my name is Otto and welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to explain how to use this gimbal, the TUN Smooth Q4. And if you're still not sure if you want to buy this gimbal or not, I do have a video review on my channel, but without any more delays, let's jump into the tutorial. The first step to make things easier is to place the tripod on the lower part of the gimbal. Now charge the device using the supplied USB-C cable. When the gimbal is charging, you will see the green lights turning on from left to right. And when the battery is fully charged, all these green lights are going to stay solid green. Now you need to unfold the gimbal just like this. Make sure you unlock this arm over here and the phone holder as well. This step is very important. If you don't unlock them, the gimbal is not going to work. Now, let's open these two clamps. And before placing the smartphone, make sure that the arm is on the right side of the gimbal. We have the controls down here, so this would be the wrong position. And this is the right position. On the clamp, you must be able to read the brand name. If it's upside down, then it's not the right position. Make sure that the camera on the phone is on the left side and we're going to use the phone's body to push one of the clamps and we're going to pull the opposite clamp with our fingers at the same time. You don't really need to balance the smartphone, but try to place the phone right in the middle of the clamp. If it tilts too much to one side, try to slide the smartphone left or right until it is balanced. If your phone is bigger than normal, double check that the bottom of the phone doesn't hit this motor down here. If it does, you need to move and readjust the phone just a bit to avoid that. The power button is on the right side. Press and hold for 3 seconds to power on or to power off. When the gimbal is on, you can press the power button once to check the battery level. It is also very important to never turn the gimbal on when you don't have a smartphone on it. The first time you use this gimbal, you will need to download the TUN Kemi app. Make sure that Bluetooth is on on your smartphone, but do not connect to the gimbal over here. So open the app and you will have to activate the Smooth Q4. You need to register if you haven't done so in the past and then just follow the indications to finish activating your new gimbal. This over here is the trigger button. You can press it once to enable smart tracking and the app will try to identify what's in the middle of the frame. So if I want to track another object or person, I would need to move the camera so that person or object are in the middle of the frame. The other way to enable smart tracking is to draw a box on the screen like this on whatever you want to track. And as you can see, it doesn't need to be in the middle of the screen. To cancel the tracking, you can press the trigger once or press the X on the green box. Now, if you double press the trigger, it will recenter the camera. If you triple press the trigger, it will change the orientation to vertical or horizontal mode. And if you press and hold the trigger, it will enter a sport mode and this will make the gimbal react faster to your movements and this is useful for fast moving subjects or if you need to reframe as quickly as possible. On the left side of the Smooth Q4, we have this wheel that has two functions. So first, this is going to make the camera zoom in and zoom out. Downwards will zoom in and upwards will zoom out. The second function works if you have the fill light attached at the top of the gimbal. Press and hold the wheel for about 2 seconds to turn the light on or off. And to change the brightness, you need to press the wheel a few times until you get the brightness that you want. On the main panel, we have a joystick and this will move the camera around. The red button is the shutter button and if you press it once, it will take a picture or it will start or stop recording a video. 
You can also quickly press this button three times to switch between the rear and the front facing camera. With the mode button, you can select the different gimbal or follow modes, which will be indicated by the lights over here. Every time you press the mode button, it will go to the next follow mode. And if you double press the mode button, it will go back to the previous one. The Smooth Q4 has the four basic gimbal modes. Pan follow, and here the row and the tilt axis will be locked, but the pan axis is not locked. This mode is useful for panning movements or to orbit around something. The next mode is all lock, and here all the axes are going to be locked, so no matter how you move the gimbal, the smartphone will keep pointing at the same direction, and this one is useful if you plan to walk in a straight path and you don't want the gimbal to move anywhere else. Next up, we have follow mode, and here the row axis is going to be locked, but it will allow you to pan and tilt. And the last mode is POV, where everything gets unlocked. The roll, the tilt, the panning, everything. If you are on POV mode and you press the mode button again, it will enter vortex mode. And on this mode, you can make the camera spin like this. You need to use the joystick to spin the smartphone clockwise or counterclockwise, and the speed of the movement will be faster or slower depending on the joystick speed that you set on the main menu on the app. To use the extension rod, all you need to do is grab this section of the gimbal and pull the extension upwards. At the top, you can also adjust the angle like this. To take low angle shots, we're going to be using under as long mode, and to do so, we're going to flip the gimbal upside down. The way I recommend doing it is by flipping the gimbal to the left or the right side, although in my case, I find it easier to start to the left side until it's upside down, and then I use the opposite direction to bring it back to the original position. Let's take a quick look at the Kami app. Here on the right side, you can select the different camera modes. For example, photo mode, video mode, panorama shots, dolly zoom, time lapses, and hyperlapses. On this column, this button will change from the main camera to the selfie camera or vice versa. This red button will start or stop recording a video, and the little hand will enable gesture control. Once you activate this to start recording or to take a picture, you have to show your hand like this or do the V sign. Down here, this is the playback button where you can watch your videos or pictures. On the left column, this icon will take you to the home screen. And here you can select manual or auto settings for the camera. And if you select manual, you can change the ISO and the shutter speed. Here you can select the resolution and the frame rates available on your smartphone and this button here will turn on or off the beauty effect. The three dots at the bottom will open the menu where you can change different settings. For example, you can change the white balance, turn the grid lines on or off, change the joystick speed, the zoom speed, calibrate the gimbal, and so on. So that's going to be all for today. If you have any questions about this gimbal or how to use it, please let me know in the comments down below. Please give this video a like and please consider subscribing. I hope you're having an amazing day and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye.